uh, Shubo, can you share your screen? Hey, no problem. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, I will host this seminar. Um, I'm Da Jun Zhang from Shanghai University. Uh, this morning, we will have Professor Xue Bo from Zhengzhou University, and uh, he will talk about integrable dynamics, uh, dynamic systems with NPCON. And I just received an uh, email from Nalini. She said uh, she has to teach this morning, and uh, she hoped me to convey his apologies. <laughs> uh, her apologies, sorry, and uh, she couldn't join us. Uh, Okay, uh, since you know, uh, this seminar will be recorded, and I hope everybody can mute your microphone during the talk. And if you have any questions, you can send a message to the chat box. I will collect the, uh, all of the messages and after the, after the talk, and we can you know, uh, discuss and uh, uh, discuss the questions. Okay. So uh, let's welcome Professor Xue. Okay, you can start. Thank you, Dr. Gubiti. Thank you, Professor Zhang, for your very kind introduction. Uh, dear respected professors of the Sydney University and uh, in this online room, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, my name is Xue Bo from the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Zhengzhou University. Uh, our university is located at Zhengzhou, the capital of Henan province, uh, in the central part of People's Republic of China. Uh, Henan province is considered to be the cradle of Chinese civilization, and our city, Zhengzhou, is uh, famous for its age-old history, Yellow River, which is the uh, mother river of China, Shaolin Temple, and the other beautiful scene. I suppose it is a wonderful place that everyone wants to visit. Uh, I'm very pleased to attend the, the Asia Pacific Integrable Online Seminar, which is called Appios, and I consider it a great honor to give a talk on this session, the session six. Thank you very much for the invitation. Um, as you can see, the topic of my presentation today is Integrable Dynamic Systems with NPCON. The content of my talk, a joint work with Professor Geng Xianguo and other fellows in Zhengzhou University. I would like to divide my talk into four parts. The first part, I will give a brief introduction of the research background of peaked soliton solution which is also called PICA. The second part first concerns some famous integrable dynamic systems with NPCA, and uh, then it's oh. mainly about our work on constructing new PCON equations. Uh, in part three, I would like to introduce some other researches associated with PICA. The last part, part four, is some references that are, relate to, uh, that are related to my talk. Okay, let's begin with the part one. The first thing I would like to talk about is the research background and some definitions as I'll use in my talk. As we all know, in the past few decades, soliton and the integrable system, chaos, fractals have become three important parts of nonlinear science. In nonlinear dynamic systems, soliton, which is a solitary wave solution that is named in about 1965. This kind of solution is caused by a cancellation of nonlinear and dispersive effects in the medium and will not be destroyed when it collides with another wave of the same kind. Uh, solitons have lots of applications in the fields of mathematics and physics. They can be discovered 
in a number of important natural phenomena and uh, practical applications and have been of great research interest. Uh, Nonlinear evolution equation, which have soliton, uh, which have soliton, uh, soliton solutions, are called soliton equations. Plenty of soliton equations have been discovered, such as the uh, KDV equation, the St. Gordon equation, the KP equation, the Bosonisk equation, and uh, so on. Um, among all the soliton equations, Kodvek Davaris equation is the most famous one. Based on the studies associated with the KDV equation, we know that first the equation is integrable, uh, and uh, this equation has soliton solutions, and uh, the KDV equation has connections uh, to a lot of physical problems, uh, and it can be proved that the solution of the KDV equation are global, but. The only disadvantage of the KDV equation is that this equation cannot describe breakings of waves. Uh, in the book, Linear and Nonlinear Waves, uh, Professor Whit uh, Whitham, uh, which is an American mathematician, said that breaking phenomenon is one of the most intriguing long-standing problem of water wave of water wave theory, uh, as noted by Witham, it is intriguing to know what mathematical models for cellular water waves could include both the phenomenon of solitary interaction and the wave breaking. Since then, lots of researchers have been trying to find a nonlinear evolution equation as uh, that satisfies three conditions at the same time. The first condition is that the equation should be integrable. The second one is that the equation possesses soliton solutions. The last condition, the third condition, is that this equation can describe the phenomenon of wave, wave breaking. After several years searching, they found that none of the equation can satisfy all the three conditions at the same time. This problem is solved by Professor Kamasa and Holm in 1993. The kamasa holm equation reconciles these properties which have been known for different models, such as KDV and Whitham's equation respectively, and has become the new master equation for stellar water wave theory since 1993. Uh, the kamasa holm equation is considered to be the first integrable model for cellular water waves, which include both phenomena of wave breaking and soliton solutions. We can see that the kamata holm equation satisfies all the three conditions that I mentioned. Uh, it is integrable, it has soliton, inter uh, soliton interaction, and it can describe the phenomenon of uh, wave breaking. Uh, but different from the soliton solution of the kodovac davaris uh, equation, kamasa holm equation supports picked soliton equation, which is called PICA. A number uh, of the research areas on kamasa holm equation have been con conducted. For example, it is shown that the kamasa holm equation is integrable by the inverse scattering transformation. It, uh, it possesses the lux pair formalism, multi soliton solutions, algebra geometric solutions, and other remarkable properties of integrable, integrable equations. The most attra attractive character of the kamas holm equation is that it, it, it admits picked soliton solutions and have been of great research interest. So, so uh, what is what is a peak solution? A solution, or what is PICA? Let's uh, see the definition of PICA. We see that a continuous function u, which is, has the variable x and t, has a peak at x zero if the function u is smooth locally on either side of x zero, 
and when x approaches x zero, the limitation of u x equals to minus limitation of u x. So the wave profile with peaks are called peaks wave or picon. According to the definition, picon, uh, frankly speaking, it has many different forms, but the most simple and the, 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 the form we use the usually is just like this. U, Ukt equals to m minus e exponential x minus x zero. Uh, when, it ha when the uh, function u has this form, it is derivative has the, the form below. According to the form, we can uh, construct the pecan solutions of Kamasa-Holm equation and other pecan solutions. Uh, let's to move to this slide. In this slide, figure one describe the uh, describe the one pecan which is traveling along the x uh, along the space axis, and the figure two give a stationary a stationary graph of the one pecan. And uh, the next slide, figure three and figure four, they give a, a two dimensional two pecan, which is travels along the uh, space axis and the uh, and the stationary uh, graph of the two pecan uh, solution. This is just an example. Uh, according to the structure of Kamasa-Holm equation and uh, the definition of pecan, we can see that Kamasa-Holm equation proposed a solution for the CH equation of the following form. Uh, this solution are continuous but only piecewise analytic, and in this and in the uh, and in the solution, the positions x j and the momenta m j evolve according to a Hamiltonian system of equations. According to this form, we know that m j uh, is associated with the uh, with, uh, associated with the ver uh, time variable t, and x j is also associated associated with the time variable t. Since the derivation of pecan, it has attracted much attention in the fields of mathematics and physics. Uh, a lot of papers, a lot of researchers has studied the pecan, especially uh, on the kamas holm equation. Uh, Professor Focus, Professor Constantin, Professor Bells, Professor Oyovo, and uh, Professor Chu and Liu, has uh, do a lot of great work on pecan equations. So why pecans are, is, are interesting? Why pecans has attracted so much attention? I think there are, basically there are two reasons. The first reason is that the pecans provide many subtle and challenging problems concerning the existence, the uniqueness, the stability, and the breakdown of solutions of, of PDEs that uh, give our, our lots of new problems for the uh, solutions of PDE equations. And the second reason is that the mathematics of pecans is very beautiful in itself. Uh, the solution, the pecans are with connections to classical topics such as stem Liouville theory, orthogonal polynomials, and the generalizations thereof. So that is the first part of my uh, talk, that's a general introduction and some definitions of pecan. In the second part, I first I would like to introduce some famous integrable dynamic systems with n pecans, and the second we will in introduce some works of, uh, uh, of the Zhengzhou University. We construct some new pecan equations. The first famous integrable dynamic system with n pecans is kamasa holm equation, of course. Uh, the uh, the kamasa holm equation uh, is first derived in 1981 by Professor Fuchitana and uh, Focus. Uh, it is just a non-trivial equation in a nonlinear evolution, in, in a hierarchy of nonlinear evolution equations. They do not pay much attention on this equation. So, uh, it, it, it do not become famous. In 1993, Professor Kamas and uh, Professor Holm, 
they derived uh, the CH equation in another way and derived constructed the picked solid solutions for the CH equation, which makes the the CH equation by the firmers until today. In 1994, Professor Cooper and Shepard obtained the solitons in Kamasa Horn equation. And in 1999, based on the inverse spectral problem, Professor Bells, Satinga, and Sumigielski derived the explicit form of the multi picons of the CH equation. In 2000, Professor Constantin and Strauss studied uh, the stability of pecans of the CH equation. And in 2005, Professor Lenaus derived the traveling wave solution of kamasa Horn equation. And lots of uh, papers studied the kamasa Horn equation that I will not mention in my talk. The second integrable dynamic system with n pecan uh, is called the Degas Paris process equation. This equation was derived by Professor de Gasparis and the Processi in 2002. Uh, Professor Landmark and Sumikielski also, according to the inverse spectral problem, they derived the explicit form of multi pecans of the DP equation in 2005. Also, in the same year, Professor Coquelet and Carlson studied the weld postness of DP equation. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Professor Lenaus derived the traveling wave solution of DP equation. In 2006, Professor Issa, Liu, and Yin uh, derived the global weak solution and the blue up structure of DP equation. And in 2009, Professor Liu uh, studied the stability of pecans of pecan for DP equation. The third famous integrable dynamic system uh, with n pecan is called the Novikov equation. This equation was derived by W. Novikov in 2009. And in 2008, Professor Horn and uh, Wang derived the, the, pecan, si the pecan systems uh, of, of the Novikov equation. And uh, Professor Horn, Landmark, and Sumiskielski derived the explicit forms of the multi in 2009. Professor Haminas and Holliman in 2012, they considered the Cauchy problems associated with the Novikov equation. And Professor Liu and Chu in 2014 studied the stability of the pecans of the Novikov equation. Uh, in 2009, in contrast with the traditional solid equations, there are uh, only a few numbers of dynamic systems with n pecan. Therefore, it's an uh, important and innovative work to search for new dynamic models with n pecan. So, since uh, 2009, we have constructed some new pecan equations. Uh, for example, we constructed a couple pecan equation with cubic linearity, the three component generalization of the kamasa horn equation, and the, the super kamasa horn equation with n pecans in the super inter, integrable, uh, integrable system, and, uh, consid and uh, consider the generalized kamasa horn equation with n pecan. And uh, the, finally, we constructed the couple kamasa horn type equation with cubic linearity. Uh, I will introduce the five equations one by one. The first pecan equation we derived can be called the coupled pecan equation with cubic linearity. It is, uh, it is you can, as you can see, it is the equation four. Uh, the equation four is very important because uh, when the potentials in equation four, when the potentials are equals to one, equation four can be reduced to the famous DP equation, equation two. And uh, when the Potential R equals to potential Q in equation four. Equation four can be reduced to the famous Novikov equation, equation three. So uh, in another way, we can see that this coupled pecan equation with cubic linearity, it includes both the famous DP equation and the Novikov equation. According to the structure, according to the 
definition of pecan, uh, we can uh, construct it that we can conclude that equation four admits a boiling n pecan system. Uh, the uh, potential Q has has uh, this form, uh, and uh, the potential R has this form. Uh, we can see that the coefficient Q J and X J, R J and X J associated with the time var uh, variable T. If the de uh, derivative of exponential X at X uh, at uh, the point zero is interpreted as being zero then the potentials m and n can be uh, interpreted by the dis distribution function. Uh, if we integrating against the text function at the point xj, the functions qj, rj, and xj, which is uh, associated with the uh, uh, time variable t, evolve according to the following dynamic system. So we can see that qj, rj, xj evolve uh, associated with t uh, evolve with a, a Hamiltonian dynamic system, which is exactly can be written in this form. They are e equivalent to each other. In, in the year 2011, Professor Jacek Sumigielski gave a talk about their study on the coupled pecan equation on the seventh IMACS International Conference on Nonlinear Evolution Equations and the wave phenomenon and named equation four as Geng Xue equation because this equation is derived by Professor Geng Xianguo and and uh, based on the inverse spectra, uh, spectral problem, Professor Sumikiowski derived the explicit explicit expression of the multi pecan solution to equation four, and their work was published in the General Memoirs of American Mathematical Society in the year 2016. That is the first pecan equation that we derived in, 19, uh, in, uh, in, 20, in 2009. The second, uh, uh, this, this equation, the Geng Xue equation, had uh, studied by others. The studies on the Geng Xue equation, uh, including uh, by Hamiltonian structures of Geng Xue equation, it is studied by Professor Liu, in 2013, uh, the Cauchy problem of Geng Xue equation in the critical Bessel uh, space is studied by Professor Liu uh, in 2015, and the uh, uh, reciprocal uh, transformation for the Geng Xue equation is studied by Professor Li in 2014. That is the first pecan equation that we constructed. The second equation we constructed is the, it can be called the three component generalization of kamas holm equation. This is, this is the equation five. Uh, why we call this equation the three component general, gen, uh, generalization of kamas holm equation is because uh, if in equation five, uh, when the potential u and w equals to zero, the equation five can be uh, re reduced to kamas holm equation one. Because it has three potentials, u, v, and w, so we call it three component generalization of Kamas and Holm equation. Also, based on the structure of uh, equation five, and uh, depending on the uh, structure of the pecan equation and its de definition, we can uh, derive that we can deduce the n pecan of the three component three component generalization of common harm equation five as the uh, as the equation as the presentation six the variables the potentials q p and r can be uh, it can be expressed in equation six then the expression of u v w can be written as in uh, can be written as in the form of distribution uh, function in equation seven if we sub, uh, substituting uh, equation six and seven into the three component generalization of Kamasa equation five and uh, integrating against the text functions at the point xj, we can obtain uh, that pj, qj, rj, and xj, which is uh, presented in the form of six, uh, equation six and seven, 
uh, they are associated, associated with the time variable t. They evolve according to the falling system. Uh, this is a, a simple expression of the, uh, the dynamic system. Ex explicitly, we can express the, the system in this form. It is very long and, uh, uh, and unfriendly. That is the second Pican equation that we derived. Uh, the third Pican equation we derived is in, in, 20, in 2030, uh, which is in the super integrable system. We can call it the super Kamas Horn with n Pican. Uh, this equation is, uh, this is equation eight. In this equation, uh, you, the potentials U and W are commuting variable, which can be indicated by the degree p as p u and p w equals to, to zero. And uh, the, the potentials alpha and the sigma are the anti-commuting variable, which can be indicated by the uh, degree p as p alpha and p sigma equals to one. In another way, we say that the potential u, w are called a boson, and uh, the, the, the potentials alpha and sigma can be called the fermions in the super integrable system. Uh, especially in the equation eight, when the uh, Fermi's sigma equals to zero, equation eight can be re uh, reduced to the famous Kamas Holm equation one. That is why we call it this equation eight. We call it as super Kamas Holm equation with n picons, n, with n picons. There's, there are two reasons. First, it can be reduced to the Kamas Holm equation. Second, it is uh, integrable in the super integrable system. Based on the structure of the super Kamas Holm equation eight, a direct calculation shows that it passes the NP con uh, that is expressed in equation nine. Uh, therefore, the e expression for the uh, for the formulas alpha and the bosons U are in equation uh, in equation ten. They are both expressed associated with the distribution function. Similarly, uh, sigma j, wj, and xj, which is also associated with the time variable t, uh, evolve according to the following super integrable system. In this uh, super dynamic system, uh, this uh, n-dimensional dynamic system, in this system, system if we assume uh, n equals to one, then we can derive the uh, explicit, uh, explicit form of sigma and uh, w. Uh, then the super dynamic system is re reduced to the, uh, to the following form. Therefore, uh, if we uh, solve a very simple, uh, a very simple puzzle differential equation, the super compact Holm equation six admit the exact one pecan of the form like, like in equation 11, where L1, L2, and uh, Kc are constant, and uh, L1, L2 are bosons, and uh, Kc is uh, fermions. This, uh, this is uh, just one explicit system, uh, explicit solution of the exact one pecan of the super common Horn equation that we can derive. Uh, the fourth pecan equation that we derived uh, can be called the generalized Kamas Horn equation with n pecan. Uh, th that is equation 12. In equation 12, when alpha equals alpha zero equals uh, equal to zero, alpha zero is a constant. If alpha zero equals to zero, equation 12 uh, can be reduced to the generalized Hunter Sexton equation. Hunter Sexton equation is, is also a very famous cellular water waves uh, equation. Uh, in integrable systems. Uh, it is, has very close the relationship with the Kamas Horn equation. So uh, equation uh, 12 was named as generalized Kamas Horn equation with NP uh, The last pair of equation 12 are like this one. Uh, are, like the, uh, are like this, you can see in the, uh, in the screen. The time, the, the space part the space matrix of the of the uh, in this last pair is u, 
and uh, the uh, time uh, matrix is v minus one. The 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 continent condition derived according to the phi x and phi t can be de uh, can derived the equation twelve the generalized Kamen Holm equation, and according to the structure of the generalized Kamen Holm equation uh, twelve we can deduce the NP con of this equation as this one uh, the uh, the the variable q can be uh, can be expressed expressed in this form. The uh, because i is from one to n, so we call it the n pika. Uh, then the expression of the of the variable r can be written as uh, and uh, the, as this form. Uh, moreover, we can derive the following expression: the de derivative of q and v, uh, where q i and x i are associated uh, associated with, with the time variable t. Uh, q i and x i evolve according the, to the following dynamic systems. Uh, also, in this n -dim dimensional dynamic systems, if we assume n equals to one in this dy dynamic system, then we can uh, solve a very simple uh, PDE. PDE and got Q1 and X1, got the e explicit form, explicit expression of Q1 and X1. Therefore, one PCON for the generalized common harm equation, the 12 is like this. It's like this. It is very simple and uh, it is associated with the exponential functions. Uh, if we use the mathematical, uh, if we use the Mathematica or use the Maple, we can uh, describe we can draw the picture, the, the, the figures of the of Q like this. The first uh, first graph is a, a three dimensional uh, three dimensional graph of the one pika when the constant r zero equals to one and uh, uh, beta two beta hat two equals to zero. And the second graph is about the one pika of the equation twelve when r zero the constant alpha zero equals to one and the beta two equals to zero and the time variable t equals to five. Uh, the, the fifth, the last Picon equation that we derived can be called the coupled Kamasa Holm type equation with cubic linearity. Coupled Kamasa Holm equation with cubic linearity is the uh, equation 13. In equation 13, when the constant of zero equals to zero, uh, this equation can be reduced to the coupled hunter saxton type equation. Uh, so that is why we call uh, equation 13 coupled Kamasa home type equation with cubic linearity. Because uh, the first reason is that it can be reduced to the coupled hunter saxton type equation. And the second is that uh, 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 it has cubic linearity in the in the expression of this equation. Based on the structure of equation thirteen, a direct calculation shows that it possesses NP complex system like this form. Therefore, uh, also uh, uh, according to the context, according to what I talk about uh, uh, about the, uh, the other PCON equations, the variable uh, the uh, the uh, the coefficient, uh, the potential R can be expressed like this one. Uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, that is uh, five uh, pecan equations that we derive. Uh, uh, now we are still uh, working on the constructing on the new pecan systems and uh, 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 pecan systems, and uh, we are also trying to get the e explicit form of the pecan uh, of the multi pecans. That is, uh, that is the main part of my talk, the part two. Uh, in part three, I'd like to uh, talk about some uh, other researches associated with PCON equation. From uh, 1993, from the de uh, derivative, from the derivation of Kamasa Harm equation, lots of the uh, PCON equations uh, have been derived and lots of the, their properties and their solutions have been obtained. Uh, there are mainly four parts 
uh, four directions that uh, of the searches that are associated with peak conjugations. The first direction is uh, searching for uh, new dynamic models with peak on, with peak on, just like uh, just as I uh, just as I introduced in this talk. Uh, there are still some new uh, peak equations are in, uh, are uh, constructed just as modified comes harm equation, uh, three component DP equation, modified DP equation, and uh, two component Novikov equation, mu kamas harm equation, mu DP equation, uh, and mu Novikov equation. A uh, lot of researchers has do a lot of the uh, famous work, uh, just as I talk, Professor Focus, Professor uh, Chu, Professor uh, Professor Liu and a lot of uh, Chinese and, and uh, foreigners had a lot of uh, work in constructing new dynamic models with NPCon. The second direction associated with NPCon equations is that they use the uh, inverse spectral problem and got the ex explicit multi peak solutions. The, uh, the most famous one is Professor Yasik Sumigyoski in Canada. And, uh, he solved the uh, he uh, solved the Kamas harm equation, uh, the DP equation, the Novikov equation, the Gengshui equation, and derived the, the explicit multi peak solutions based on the inverse spectral problems. And uh, uh, Professor Tang uh, in China also do a lot of important work uh, in these directions. And uh, the third third di direction. Uh, it's about the stab stability and the existence of PCOM. Uh, Professor Chi, Professor Liu, and uh, Professor uh, Constantine uh, do a lot of uh, great works in this direction. And finally, uh, and the, the, the fourth direction about the NPCOM is that the, they, they studied the integrability, the wave breaking and the blow up of the shock wave phenomenon that are associated with the peak equations. Uh, and uh, uh, here I just listed uh, some uh, four parts of directions associated with PICA. A lot of other directions and out of lots of famous uh, researchers that I do not mention in, the, in, 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 the, in this talk. This is the fourth part of my talk. And the last part is some uh, references associated with my talk. Uh, the first references uh, in 1993 is the de derivation of the Kamas harm equation and uh, uh, and the, you, as you can see uh, and the, the third and the, the fourth uh, conferen uh, uh, conference is about the uh, is about the uh, properties of Kamas harm equation and uh, uh, reference 13 is about uh, the multi peak solutions of the DP equation based on the uh, based on the inverse scattering problem and a lot of other uh, references. Uh, well, that brings me to the end of, of my presentation. The last three slides are some uh, references that I mentioned in this talk, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That is a brief introduction about our work. Thank you for the opportunity of sharing my view with you. Thank you for listening. Uh, and uh, happy mid mid autumn day to all the Chinese people here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thanks, uh, Professor Xu. And today is a uh, mid autumn holiday in China. Uh, I saw one question in the chatting box from uh, Professor Chiao. And, and Professor Chiao, and would you like to you ask your question or I pass your question? Yes, uh, thank you for the, the opportunity to ask a question. Uh, Dr. Xia, first question is, I wrote down the chat box. The question is for the, your model. Can you share two component model? Uh, that is the integrable system, but uh, when you do the PCOM dynamical system, 
Yeah. You give the uh, one single key count solution. My question for you, for the N uh, peak count system, that system is integrable, yes or no? Does it have uh, a last pair? Yeah, it's, it's got a last pair. It is in integrable. Uh, we also can derive the uh, infin infinitely many conservation laws and the Hamiltonian structures. No, 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 you don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the NP dynamical systems. Oh. You know? Yes. Uh, the question is, will you substitute your peak ansatz to yeah. the, your model, okay, Gengxue model? Yeah. The, the system reduced to the peak NP dynamical system, which is ODE system. You yes. have two, two N variables. Yes. I'm asking you the peak dynamical system, that's two N systems. Does it yes. have a lux pair or is that integrable? Yes or no? Uh, uh, I, I know I know your question, Professor Chow. Uh, I do, do not derive the lex pair of the 2N uh, system, but I think it's integrable according to the uh, works of uh, Professor Jessica Sumigielski. They derived the, uh, uh, the explicit form of, uh, of the NPCON in their papers. Okay, uh, the PCON is a PCON, so integrable I mean, the integrability you, you, you claim here is not in the sense of a lux pair, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes or no? Yes means it has a lux pair. No, it is uh, not. Uh, it has a Hamiltonian structure. Right. First of all, you, did you have a Hamiltonian structure for the NP dynamical system? Uh, we have a uh, Hamiltonian uh, structure for the dynamic system, but do not get the lux pair. Okay. Now it's clear. Uh, then, since not the last pair, you all derived a one single pecan solution explicitly. Now, what about the two pecans, three pecans in your format? For Yasik and Xiangke uh, Chang, they, they did differently. For your system two component Gengxi uh, model, what is the dynamical uh, is, uh, you know, solution for the two pecan system? Did you have exact solutions or exact uh, formula for the, or explicit solution for the two PCON systems? Uh, we only can derive the one PCON. Uh, uh, one PCON is clear, I saw you in your lecture. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry that it is very difficult for, for us to derive the two or three PCON of this system. The uh, calculation is very, uh, is very, uh, it's very tedious. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, derive the two or three or more pecan system of uh, uh, of the uh, two uh, of this uh, uh, of this system. Okay, now got clear. If in that sense uh, we cannot claim that a dynamical system is integrable. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a one question. May I ask one more question? Yeah, please. <laughs> okay. Since later, <laughs> since later, on, the, the, you you did the some similar solution for your super pecan no super CH model. Yes. Okay. Uh, the similar way, uh, you you didn't show the two pecan interaction as well, right? Uh, you mean for the super common form equation? Right. Yeah. Super uh, CH. Uh, you uh, you three component, right? Or two uh, components. You can you show the four models, but uh, for super. Uh, I'm CH, sorry, Professor Chow, that we only derived the one pecan uh, solution okay. for the super common home equation. So you didn't uh, have a two pecan interaction solution yet, right? Yes, yes. Because of the same reason, we cannot no, no. derive the. Yes, it, means it, you it did. Wrong. Yes, means you did. No, which is not. Oh, no. yes I mean, no? we did not. We just okay. derived the one pecan. Did not get the two or three pecan. Okay, okay, thank you for clarification of that. And thank last, you. The, sure. Last, the, can I ask one more? Yeah. Dr. <laughs> Zhang, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> lastly, for your pecan uh, overall, I should say the earliest history should from Wethemus book. The, yes. That's in 1978. Yes, he yes. mentioned the solution there, but he didn't claim a pecan. 
uh, you know, it's, uh, this is, would be the first reference for the peak. But that is for Wisman equation. Wisman equation, that is the system is not integrable, but it okay. did have peak solution. Okay, I know that. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Chow. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dr. Zhao, that's all my <laughs> comments and questions. Yeah. Uh, May quick? I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, okay, so thanks for the talk first, uh, but I think I've got a question in the relationship of these PECON solutions within, well, these PECON equations with integrability. Uh, because it's, if it's uh, clear, uh, as far as understood, you generated this equation by uh, ex extending the lax pairs of known uh, systems. Uh, yes. But uh, I was wondering, are there any, uh, because, okay, we know, for instance, that like f for solitons, uh, one soliton solution is uh, common to almost all evolution equations. Yes. Two soliton yes. is common to many evolution equations. Three solitons is usually what uh, discriminates between uh, uh, integrability and non-integrability. Uh, is there a similar situation here for PECON? So we can claim one PECON solution is common to very big uh, uh, class of equations, uh, Professor Chow just mentioned like Witham equation, for instance, which is non-integrable, uh, but uh, 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 we can claim, for instance, that like this uh, PECON solutions uh, uh, have some definite relationship with integrability or not? Uh, uh, frankly speaking, we do not have too much evidence to prove that it has it has integrability and uh, prove that the the collections. Uh, 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 Professor uh, Sumigowski has studied the uh, collections of the pecan uh, the collection the Clyde of the the the, the uh, DP equation. Uh, I do not. Uh, I, I I have read the uh, I've read their papers. Uh, I think they have proved that the Clyde of the two pecan equation uh, after the Clyde, uh, it, it uh, keeps the integrability. So two pecans should be enough for integrability? Uh, Sorry, yes. Can... Okay, I see. Yes. Uh, any other questions? So, if no more question, um, let's thank the speaker, Professor Xue, once again. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Professor Zhao, and thank you all the professors in the room. Happy Middle yeah. Time Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. um, so, thank you for, for coming. Uh, I will stop the recording now. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you.